Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how to change the base of a logarithm. So, the reason we want to change bases is because your calculator is only able to calculate logs if they have base 10. If you have a question without base 10, you can't just plug it into your calculator and get the right answer. So, for example, if we had log to the base of 5 of 25, we probably can figure out in our head that 5 to the power of 2 equals 25. But you're not always going to be able to do it in your head, so we need a method that will always work to get the answer to a logarithm that's not base 10. So what you do is you write down log of base 10 of the number 25 divided by log base 10 of the original base from the question. And I'm just going to type in on my calculator log of 25 and I get just some irrational decimal. It's approximately equal to 1.379. I'll type in log 5 on my calculator and I'll get 0 0.69897. So, all I'm going to do is type in 1.3979 divided by 0 0.69897 into my calculator. Equals, and I get that equals to 1.99999. And let's round that to 2. There we go. Okay, so we've already, you know, knew that it was going to be 2. So you can see that this method gets us the right answer. So let's do one where we don't know right away what it's going to be. You don't have to do log questions on your calculator if it's something like log base 5 to the 25, if you can do it in your head. I would suggest you just do that. So what if it was log 2 of 64? Well, that would be log to the base of 10 of 64 over log to the base of 10 of 2. So I'm going to type in log 64 on my calculator, and I'll get 1.806 divided by log of 2 equals 0 0.301. So I'll go 1.806 divided by 0 0.301 equals, and I get exactly 6. So, let's go back up to the original question. Is 2 to the power of 6 equal to 64? We'll try that on your calculator. 2 to the exponent of 6 equals 64. So that's perfect, it works. The number we found, 6, that's what goes over here on the other side of the equal sign. So I hope you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!